Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GT Online video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to glitch the Charnobog so it can be driven while the guns are active. But first, I want to let you guys know that I'm planning a new community driven series. I want to do something like a kind of like a top community plays series, but I want to make it themed so that each week is tied to a specific type of vehicle or a specific type of kill. For example, I could do one week where it's all about Charnobog kills, and then another week I could do like the best community Starling kills. I could just picture a ton of Charnobog clips all into one video, and that sounds extremely cool. And not only would it get you guys involved more, but it would also influence people to use vehicles that you don't really see every day. I could come up with some pretty wacky ideas for that. Now, there are two ways I could format this series. I could either do a top 10 format where I commentate before each clip, or I can just put a ton of clips into like a compilation. I personally think that the compilation format would be better, but I want to know what your guys' opinions are in the comments. Would you want to see something like this, and if yes, which format would you prefer? Now, back on the Charnobog glitch. First, I want to say that I'm in no part the founder of this glitch. I'm pretty sure the founder is TwistyBoyT, and I will have a link to his channel in the description. I will also link the 7 Sins tutorial in the description, just in case you need more help trying to hit the glitch. So in order to do this, you're obviously going to need two people because you need someone on the gun and someone to drive you around while you're using the gun. Then you want to find a place where there is an underpass or a highway sign or anything where if you activate the missiles it won't be able to look up all the way without glitching out. Then you want to aim up into the air and have your friend deactivate the rockets. After that you'll notice the missile launcher has a hard time retracting and it puts the vehicle into this glitched state where the driver is able to drive and the gunner is still able to fire the missiles like you were parked. I assume this happens because there is a desync that is caused by wedging the missiles into an area where they cannot retract properly. The game thinks that the missiles retracted on the driver's screen, but on yours they actually did not. Now I don't have any gameplay of this, but from the driver's screen, the vehicle will look normal like the missiles are retracted, but from your point of view it's kind of funny because the mounts will be down, and they'll be moving so sparks will come out of the road. And what's even funnier is that the missiles look like they are firing out of nowhere because the missiles aren't up on the driver's screen. Now, it is possible to break this glitch and cause the missiles to retract again, so it sucks when that does happen. But other than that, this is a really fun thing to do and mess around with, and you can probably confuse some oppressors with this. And this just begs the question, why can't we just use the missiles while it's moving anyways, man? I know it would be kind of awkward driving and having the missile bay hanging out, and if it was aiming behind you, it'd probably block off the driver's view, and you'd probably get caught on a lot of things. But I mean, tanks can be the same way. Anyways, that is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for guide and PvP related content. Also, don't forget to let me know what you think about my idea for the community series. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.